What's up, guys? Midwest Tour Review here back again. All right, so I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys this video. This is going to be my toolbox tour, the Matco Jamestown box, uh, in all of its glory with the copper vein uh, paint job on it. Uh, so I want to just go ahead and show you guys what I got in here. This has been a, a long time getting to this point uh, with, re with regards to getting a, a good box uh, and kind of filling it up with tools. So on the top, what we got <clears throat> on the left hand side, we've got some uh, electrical screwdrivers. These are by Gros Engineering, which I believe is like an Indian brand. Um, they're in line with what I see from like... Um, some of the other screwdriver companies here, Weira, Weha, etc. So they're they're really nice. Uh, I've got my little uh, 12 volt DeWalt here. That's absolutely a monster. I've been I wrote this thing really really hard, really really heavy, and uh, it's great for you know doing under the hood jobs, you know taking apart uh, air boxes and things of that nature, pulling spark plugs, etc. Um, I've got a little cheap light here. I've got my work pro light, uh, thousand or work, work zone light, um, thousand lumens, little small OEM light, uh, magnetic. I've got a set of, uh, these are the Carlisle uh, stubbies, um, uh, chrome molly ranging from eight to 19. Absolutely love them. And hey, they don't rust. So uh, I'm in the, in the uh, Rust Belt or the Midwest, and these things are pulling up really, really nicely. Got the snap-ons here, half-inch drive, um, deep to shallows um, from 10 to 19, 10 to 19. Got the uh, Great Amatics from 7 to 19. These are six points. Then we have the Great Amatic 7 to 19. These are 12 points impact. Great Amatic 4 to um, 15. None of these skip any, any numbers or any uh, sizes. Um, another set here of um, this is the quarter inch drive. These are quarter deeps. These are quarter shallows um, with their wave drive technology, which I absolutely love. Uh, and these range from 4 to 15 as well. Keys to the vehicle, snap-on spark plug, magnetic to SK magnetic spark plugs, uh, set of, I believe these are Power Torque from O'Reilly's. Yeah, Power Torque. Um, and these are six all the way up to 19. And these are three eighths. Those are a quarter on there. Um, and there's stubby profile as well. Uh, this is a set of triple squares, ADV by Matco. Uh, these range from, what is it, like a 4 all the way up to a 16. Really, really nice. They don't have the um, the uh, security feature on there, but I do have some that do, which we'll get to those. A set of uh, 3 8 dry wobble um, sockets by Snap-on. These are SAE. These are a mixture of SAE and metric Snap-on wobble sockets there various sizes kind of like overages and then i've got a couple random snap-on sockets here half inch drive uh quarter inch drive just stuff that i've i've gotten over the over the couple uh fast few past few months um i think i got bit by a mosquito uh, a set of random bits hex torch triple squares all of the everything on here snap-on just random sizes um the matco low profile um, uh, triple squares, XZN triple squares with the gunmetal finish. Really, really nice. Um, a set of the uh, wrench adapters for converting a standard combination wrench to a ratcheting wrench. Those are by Snap-on. Snap-on SAE, half-inch drives, deeps and shallows. Um, oh, uh, these are uh, mid-length, by the way. I don't think I said that. Mid-length um, Grady Maddox, uh, six point uh, one inch down to five sixteenths. Really, really nice set. Uh, some Aries mid-length Chromes. Um, these go up to seven eighths, all the way down to quarter inch, I believe it is. A couple of random Apex, old Apex, and then a set of Cobalt Chrome twelve points. Um, occasionally, I run into a twelve point. 
fastener that I need to use, and then one random half inch drive, uh, 15 16 snap on 12 point. Uh, here's my extensions, at least some of there, some of them, these are all snap on. Uh, you can see how cheaply I can find some of these snap ons. I only paid a dollar for that, that extension. Um, but some of these are wobble, some of them are standard. Uh, half inch drive, uh, this is a um, uh, Mac, Mac Tools, um, half inch drive with the quick release or locking feature rather on there. And then I've got another Craftsman, 36 inch long, and then a Snap-on, which I believe is 24 inches long. Got a little bit of overspray on these some of these tools too from my painting here recently. Um, got a set of Irwin, or um, Linux screwdrivers from Lowe's. Really, really nice grip. These are some fabulous screwdrivers for the money. I would strongly uh, recommend those. I've used these things to death, and I've never broken one. Never, I've never even chipped one. Um, look at that tip. I mean, I, I've used this thing extensively. And I've used it so much, I've worn off the writing and everything else. I really, really put these through over the past year. And I strongly recommend, if you want a set of cheap screwdrivers that have an awesome grip, that work really, really well, um, get yourself a set of these Linux screwdrivers from Lowe's. A um, couple of random screwdriver, uh, I got some snap-on um, shafts there, snap-on breaker bar, um, tire repair kit for the kids bikes got some torque wrenches down there or some torque sticks down there as well uh, a couple stickers matco magnetic dish uh, another matco dish there as well and then a magnetizer d magnetizer from mac tools all right the money drawer here which i know you guys have seen a million times um this is my my ratchet drawer uh, I've got everything in here, guys. I've got Snap-on. I've got SK. I've got some older Craftsman. I've got some Herbrand, Matco, Mac, um, Armstrong, a um, little bit of everything in here. I uh, even got a Snap-on breaker bar back there. So here's some quarter-inch drive, standard swivels, rotaries, um, converted um, Snap-on there. Put a different shat or different uh, grip on there. The bent handle, the roto head flex head flex head standard but extra long or a little bit longer rather uh, another flex head non-locking couple standard lanes mac some older vintage stuff that just kind of there for restorations more snap on or snap on here this is a locking flex head the matco green with the black um, the new blue handle ratchet from matco yeah got me one of those the mac axis uh, I, you guys need to tell me about this one. I just picked this bad boy up for like a hundred bucks and it's the most I've ever spent on a snap on ratchet, but man, look at that joint. That is so much better than your traditional, um, snap on designs. And this is the FFL F80. Absolutely love this ratchet. Um, I've been trying to find things to just utilize that on. It's so long, which I can't use it on everything, but man, it's a really, really nice ratchet. Comparatively to your standard joint that Snap-on offers, I mean, look at the difference in that. I mean, that is significantly bigger. So I don't know why Snap-on doesn't incorporate that feature in all their ratchets. It would certainly make them stronger. Carlisle half-inch drive, Proto half-inch drive, Maco half-inch drive, breaker bar, quarter-inch drive, a little bit of everything there. Flex head, locking flex head. I even got one of these. I've never even seen anybody have one of these on... on uh, YouTube, but it's a blue point uh, indexing head ratchet. I bet you CP probably has one of those or Clay Coon, one of those guys. I bet you they do. Um, more Mac hole here. It's the red quarter inch drive uh, flex head, Mac hole bit um, uh, ratcheting bit uh, driver. Um, another quarter inch drive snap on, kind of like the other bent handle one over there. Um, uh, regular TLL F72 by Snap-on, half-inch drive, I think it's a 710 or 7 something, let's see, what is this one here? Yeah, the S710, then the Armstrong, which is very similar to the Snap-on, um, what is it, the 71 or whatever it is, the old number 7 or whatever it is. Then I even got some Capri in here, I got a couple Capri ratchets that I picked up 
Really, really nice um, ratchets, by the way. So that's why they, they live in here. But yeah, that's my ratchet drawer, guys. I've got a lot and trying to like not buy any more ratchets for a while, but I just can't pass up a good deal. All right, so now, oh, just a little disclaimer. Yeah, we're at 10 minutes, so this is going to be a long video. So you're more than welcome to drop off, but man, I encourage you guys to stay on it. Screwdrivers, all snap-on, snap or blue point bits, more scrap on, uh, man, more snap-on screwdrivers, macro ratcheting uh, screwdriver with all of the attachments, another blue point bit driver, more snap-on screwdrivers and picks, small mini picks and things of that nature, a couple of stubby screwdrivers, my old vintage uh, wooden handle screwdrivers, which I keep in there, really, really nice. They've been around for 70 years, so they deserve their place. Not sure why that's in here. Um, uh, Matco long picks, a couple magnetic pocket screwdrivers, a couple ratcheting screwdrivers, snap on, snap on, snap on, and my snap on racing set, and then my plastic Stillman Pro scraper. My wrench drawer. Um, I've got some uh, snap on wrenches here that I'm trying to build a set for. People like Larry. Uh, Bergstrom is sending me some uh, wrenches. People just kind of hooking it up. I got two of these wrenches that my mother-in-law passed away. And for some reason, unbeknownst to me, she had snap-on tools in her old toolbox. And so I'm trying to like build a set of wrenches. So right now I've got like 10, 12, 14, 18, and 17. And I'm trying to build these up and as like a way of paying some respect to her uh, and put this set together in her name. So working on that is coming along. Um, uh, these are Craftsman screwdrivers or screwdrivers, Craftsman USA uh, wrenches here, uh, metric all the way up to 20. I've got um, the Harley Davidson, which is manufactured by Snap On, uh, Harley Davidson wrenches, and it, they're, they're a weird number, they go up to like 17, I believe it's like 10 to 17 or something like that. Yeah, so 10 to 17. Um, but they're real, ouch. Oh, I got a bad cut on my finger. God, that hurts. Um, man, look at that. That's a bad cut, guys. Um, then I got the blue point ratcheting screwdriver or ratcheting wrenches here, and then an SAE set of those same Harley Davidson wrenches. There's the blue point ratcheting, uh, reversible ratcheting. Uh, some cobalt um, stubby uh, wrenches here, really, really nice. SAE and metric. Um, they're better than like, you know, some of the kind you would get from Nor Northern Tool or Harbor Freight. I buy it cobalt any day. Set of uh, uh, Everlast or whatever the brand is from Napa, uh, Lime Crow's Feet, some Mac um, box end wrenches with the uh, Comfort Grip handle, um, the uh, snap-on adjustables, and then I've got a set of Wilton Columbia wrenches, and these are a combination of Craftsman slash SK and a couple of fillers and uh, of Crescent, and I think one Cobalt. These are a couple snap-on line wrenches and a Matco line wrench, and then I've got a set of snap-on metric um, non-reversing uh, ratcheting wrenches there as well. So that's my wrench jar. All right. So this is a shout out to CP. I got I got pliers too, CP. I got I got pliers too, man. So I got Klein's. I've got Nipex. I've got Klein's. Uh, Nipex here. More Nipex. Old Nipex. I got vice grips. More vice grips. I got a Vampire. Uh, Mac tools. These are the Titans from Northern Tool. More Vampire. Of vampires, more clon or um, Irwins. Uh, I think these are what are these? I don't even know what these are. Forgot I had them. Titan. I think I picked these up at like AutoZone or something like that. Um, a old Vintage USA Red Devil pliers, uh, Snap On pliers, uh, more Nipex, more Nipex, more Snap On, more Nipex, and I even got some of these. Um, these adjustables that are smooth jaw. Um, I think uh, CP had a pair of these on his channel. He was showing these off. These are really, really nice. And they will not mar up anything, just like CP said. I, I agree. 
Absolutely love those. Um, I'm trying to get the majority of my pliers to be Nipex. I like Nipex much better um, for the simple fact is that, like CP said, they don't rust. I mean, some of these other brands, they rust, including, including Snap-on. But the coating that they use on the Nipex pliers, never had a problem with it. So very, very, very pleased with their, their quality of tools. Um, so over here, we've got Snap-on. Um, these are Snap-on Deeps uh, metric four to like 19 or 15. Then I've got some shallow. Um, these are just simply the cheap um, icons. Uh, just want to pick those up and see how they worked out from Harbor Freight. Then I've got Mac and a couple of Snap-on random SAEs back there. A little Cobalt bit driver set. These are some cheaper um, Hex and Torx from Harbor Freight, or um, not Harbor Freight, but from uh, Tractor Supply. Some Husky um, extensions, locking extensions. All these are just random snap-on um, sockets. Same thing with these, random just 12.6 point all the way up to 24 millimeter. These are all snap-on. These are all snap-on. Those are Stillman Pros, um, lug, or, um, lug nut sockets, uh, Sunix. Uh, these are the, um, the Sunix uh, magnetic sockets, quarter-inch drive. Very, very convenient to have these. Um, if you're working in a very tight space and you don't want to lose a fastener, these uh, magnetic sockets by Sunix are really, really nice. Um, I love those. I don't necessarily use them for the impact feature, but rather the magnetic feature. Um, some Sunix uh, deeps that I picked up just to kind of, these are exactly the same thing as these here, but I just picked these up because they were cheap. Got a set of Icon 3H drive deeps just to kind of check them out. Some um, custom wrenches by Match Fabricator. Um, I've got to do a review of these wrenches. I still haven't gotten around to doing that. Uh, I forgot I even had those. Those are another set of um, uh, Icon sockets from Harbor Freight. Those are 3 8 drive um, chromes. Man, I knew this was going to happen with these wrenches. They, they're on a weird thing there. Uh, a little, little bitty snap or... Um, Craftsman um, set of cutters, uh, not too bad, not really sharp, but not bad. Uh, old Husky USA uh, six point uh, socket set with driver, and then a blue point, a set of blue point um, wobbles, uh, all the way up to twenty four millimeters at um, full set of those. So this is kind of like my overflow drawer for a lot of the stuff that I don't want sitting up there. And hopefully I'm not going through this too fast, guys. I'm really trying to spend more time on this for you. Um, let me see here. Where is my seat? And I don't see it. Okay. So, all right. I'll just get a squat down here a little bit. Set of cobalt wrenches. This is the stubbies and the standard length, both SAE and metric. You know, this is a full little 30-piece set. Picked it, up, picked it up for like 19 bucks at Lowe's. Couldn't pass it up. These are lug nut sockets, snap-on uh, soldering iron, my charger for my uh, blue point light, snap-on torque or uh, T handles, uh, Mac tools, rotary bits, the burr bits. Um, uh, I cut that finger; that really hurts. There you go. Um, then I got some uh, Mac tools taps here. Uh, random snap-on Torx T-handle, more Craftsman USA, and some uh, industrial wrenches, more of the older style stuff. A Matco trim panel kit, which I absolutely use to death out of. My lights, um, uh, easy outs by Mac, or snap-on rather. My snap-on extensions, 3H drive set, full set of these. Pick those up for 100 bucks. Can't beat it. Matco Caliper press, Matt Cole hose remover, installer kit, my cobalt um, drain plug kit. Uh, what else do I got underneath there? Let's see here. That's it, I guess. I thought I had something else under there. That's not the case. Now, there we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, snap on. Um, tape measure my bits here 
blue point ratchet buddies more snap on blue point bits um, and that's kind of it for that drawer all right let's see then this drawer here what's up girls i'm doing a video what's up oh, okay if you don't need me Okay, kids bother the mess out of me. All right, uh, SAE, these are the Capri um, low profile um, half inch drive sockets. Really, really nice. Chrome Molly, six point um, um, design. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but hope to. I got those in both SAE and metric. Uh, also got the Capri um, triple squares, XEN triple squares. Uh, really, really nice set. And these do have the security bit feature all the way up to M18. So really, really nice. Capri did a really fa fabulous job on the chrome on those sockets. Uh, really, really nice. Um, I do have the, the NoCo GB40, which is sitting over here. Um, which I just keep plugged in. Um, and I got all of the, um, uh, the leads for that for my vehicles. Uh, got a plethora of different drills. I've got Porter Cable. I've got Milwaukee. I've got the half inch drive Milwaukee fuel. Uh, another, um, bit driver for DeWalt. My Cobalt series, my three Cobalt, my bit drivers for both uh, Porter Cable and co uh, Cobalt there. My air tool, um, this is by Brannick called the, air, the Airhead. Really, really nice to have that around. Uh, my Challenger Proto uh, three quarter inch drive sockets back there. Uh, my coat reader by uh, Anova 3100. Works out really nice. Helps me diagnose a lot of vehicles around here. My Ventus SK impact socket set. Just kind of chills out in here. Not really using them. A bunch of random screwdrivers. Test lights. Some more cheap um, socket sets down there. Just from uh, Tractor Supply. I think they're low, pro low profile. Which is why. Damn mosquito in here. Which is why uh, I keep those around. Now I gotta try to put this all back. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I've got my bag here. This bag just has a bunch of random tools in it. Uh, screwdrivers. These are all, I think these are all uh, Williams uh, bit drivers. So old bench set of um, nut driver set rather um, by Williams. Got a full set of these here. Um, I'm gonna clean these up and Get them looking nice, and then I'll, those will go into the screwdriver drawer, possibly. Snap-on impact air pneumatic, uh, snap-on air hammer with the with the chuck, and that's supposed to be in the bag. Um, let me see here. Uh, more DeWalt impacts or drivers here that I don't even use, uh, but I picked those up for a great deal, so I just kind of keep them down in there. Um, that's more of that, that, uh, uh, Proto Challenger set there. My little cheap, um, uh, the multimeter by Craftsman works for what I need it for. Bunch of random bits that I kind of carry around. Uh, T-handles by Craftsman USA. My Mac Tools piston ring compressor set. Um, some adjustable wrenches down there, some Allen keys, some more breaker bars, which I forgot I even had. Oh, um, a snap-on breaker bar down there as well, as well as a uh, right. And then my uh, 3 h drive Craftsman torque wrench, and then my Mac Tools half-inch drive torque wrench is also down there. So, and then I've got a plethora of air tools, uh, grinders, and sanders, and drills which I need to walk around my shop here and find them all, kind of get those in here. Cause I, uh, I've been doing so much body work that I've got things all around the garage and I kind of need to get more organized, but that's the bottom drawer of my box. Um, 
let's see here. So that's that's pretty much it for that. Um, over here, which is kind of, yeah, that's my baby there. Um, but beyond that, I've got, um, let's see here, a bunch of just fluids, you know, polishing and all the kind of tools around here. Um, let's see here. My junkyard pick apart set from Harbor Freight. I carry these with me when I'm going to go to the, the to the uh, pick apart yard and pull parts. Um, the same thing with that uh, Mac Tools tray back there. Um, then I got a, this random pliers. I got more pliers and stuff in here from Kleins. Um, just random stuff, you know, screws and bits, screwdrivers, lights more sockets um you know body pieces panels poppers this is kind of like my junk drawer kind of like whatever i don't have a place for just kind of throw it in here um you know and go from there allen keys um you name it um another dish there um coverall absolute best spray for your tires and your rims don't want to knock that over hang on a second let me move that out the way Um, then in here, this is my tool, my junkyard bag. We're going to do another video on this, but this is all the tools plus some other stuff that I carry with me when I go to the pick apart yard. And I'll show you guys on another video what I carry and why I carry what I carry and how to plan for that. Um, down here, we've got a tap and die set, um, uh, uh, sanders or, uh, DA sanders, um, still hammer, um, little cheap tool shop, but I tell you what, this thing has worked out over the years. Paint, C clamps, more bunch of air tools. I've got snap on, um, uh, ratchets. I've got Sun X grinders, angle die grinders, um, blue point, um, impact or, uh, impact ratchet. Yeah, just kind of random stuff. Just, you know, just sitting around the shop, things that I, I use here and there um, and then we won't even get into all that over there that's more tools and crap over there uh, but yeah guys this is my this is my my setup for right now um, I don't really know what else I'm gonna get at this moment in time I've, I feel like I got a lot of what I need for the most part I've got some stuff I'm still gonna be picking up here here and there, but for the most part, for an average DIYer, this is a pretty decent setup. I mean, I can do pretty much everything I need to do right out of this box. Um, but there's some other things I would love to have. And, you know, watching the guys out there with what they got, you know, CP, Justin Dow, um, you know, just random guys like that, that, um, you know, people that I subscribe to, that I follow, and they kind of, you know, they, they do their tours and they kind of let me know what I need or what I should be looking for as far as quality, the types of tools. And then I go out there and I find them and uh, I try to find everything for cheap and then tell you guys how to find them for cheap. So that's that's pretty much the, the gist of it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do have this set here. These are snap on um, mid length um, all the way up to 19, all the way down to an eight. Really, really, really nice. Really nice set. I absolutely, these are my pride and joy sockets right here. I love these sockets. Um, but yeah, man, this is my setup. Like I said, I got everything I possibly need. All the ratchets that I could possibly ever need, plus some. Um, so I'm good to go, man. But hope you guys like the tour. Oh, up here is all of my chart, my um, my chargers, my charging station. That's going to be for a giveaway. Uh, my Alexa, um, she just came on, um, all of my different, my speaker set up there. And then at the very top, I've got all of my collectible snap-on and just vintage stuff that I keep around, um, uh, around my shop, just kind of stuff I find and I just throw it up there. So, but yeah, guys, hope you liked the tour. Hope you liked the, the setup that I've got. This is a, by the way, this is a snap-on cart. It's an old diagnostic cart that I've converted to be a tool cart, but it works out. But I hope you guys like the setup. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see anything else or you have questions about what I have or why I have what I have. And I'll reply back to you. You guys know I always get to my comments. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.